evening. How are you? <laughs> now was the night. Sure, you had a good sleep. Okay, welcome. My name is Sijama. Um, we are set to bring you a press review this morning, but that will be after this short break. Stay. Okay, welcome again. Uh, joining me this morning for press review is um, Barrister Ifechuku Dan Jacobs. He's a public affairs analyst. Good morning, Ifechuku. Good morning, the presenter. Viewers, you are welcome to the program. Okay, and then um, I also have um, um, Tony Anibwe, Anibwe. Tony Anibwe is a public affairs analyst. He will be joining us in a while, just a, in a, um, a minute or two. Okay. Um, now, let's uh, begin usually from the beginning, which is from our website this morning, as to look at what the papers are saying. Uh, the first story from our website says, Anambra Assembly, Anambra Assembly commends a quality work on Y Junction, as is of UNISIC, Open a road project. And then Saludo asked core members to embrace ICT, support his government's pro environmental policies. And Mrs. Saludo plans to move out of school children back to classrooms. Aswama takes awareness campaign of power waste disposal methods to proper waste disposal methods to more council areas. Maybe we didn't have power supply for some days now. And then I saw uh, proper and called it power. Okay, um, before we start looking at this, let's take a short break, please. Let's take a short break. And then we'll come back and start talking. Great news for Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS audience. You can now watch ABS television through any of these ways. Buy a terrestrial antenna and connect to your television. Search ABS Channel 24 Orca or ABS Channel 27 on each. Install Star Times Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 113. Install Metro Digital Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 29. Watch ABS TV on your smart TV or smartphone by downloading Anambra Broadcasting Service app on Google Play Store. Also watch via ABS Facebook page at ABS Radio Television and ABS YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. ABS TV is now also on satellite. You can watch us from anywhere in Nigeria and other African countries. Simply install RTV Decoder brand and tune to channel 315 or install any free to air satellite decoder and search for ABS TV. Whichever option you choose, stay abreast of breaking news, documentaries, children's shows, talk shows, comedy, sports, movies, and lots more on your darling TV station. For Adverts and program sponsorship. Contact 0803-388-8526 or 0806-883-9902. ABS, Heartbeat of the East. With its urban renewal agenda, the Saludo administration has started the operation clean up Onicha, Oka, Newi, Ikulobia, and other major cities in the state. The governor, Professor Charles Chukuma Saludo, has already set the pace by personally joining in the desilting of gutters and drainages in Ochanga and its suburb. A sustainable, clean, green, and livable Anambra is possible. So, join in the drainage desilting campaign and operation Keep Your Gutters Clean. Keep your environment clean. Clean your gutters regularly. Do not block drainages with refuse. Properly dispose of sachets, banana peels, and upper wraps. Please pay your sanitation levy to enable the government fulfill its obligations. The solution is here. Be part of the solution. Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS. With delight, we bring you the light that we bear through our illustrious leaders. Our icons.
our industrious people. Okay, welcome again. I've already introduced uh, Tony and Nebwe. Uh, Tony, you're welcome formally. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, now let's uh, start looking at the stories making the run from our website. We don't have enough time, so we'll have to um, some of the stories. And then, wrong with this, construction work at the Y Junction, and then... Um, uh, what Aswama is doing, Aswama takes awareness campaign on proper waste disposal methods to, for more cans, uh, to more council areas. Let me start with you, Jacobs. So have you seen the construction work going on? Like I said yesterday, I drove past that road. Of course, I don't stay in Oka. I come in from Onicha. So I drove past that road, I was wondering. So it's possible for us to have this kind of connectivity in Oka, inside Oka, road connectivity. I think it was a good job. Very superb job. Uh, indeed, the governor, the, the emergency he declared on the road, is fulfilling that to the citizens of uh, this uh, state. In, he's doing a very wonderful job. Look at the proposals for new roads. Even I learned that he had designed another sort of flyover from this city to Amen. Mm -hmm. Very soon. Mm, from that, the step junction. For step mm. junction. In short, all over the state is constructing wonderful roads. The, road, the quality of roads, they are very superb. Mm. In that only, the, the, the only road is, uh, the only, that only road issue he started in Anambra State have made people to love him. He has endeared himself to Anambraians. Because roads have been a major setback in the development of the state. By the time he finishes with road project and goes into power, like what is happening in Aba, Aba the, the, through the intervention of uh, Governor Bart uh, Naji's project, or Bart Naji's project, Aba is enjoying state power supply. Mm -hmm. I encourage our governor, after the road project, maybe the next area he will look into should be issue of power. Once we have this road connectivity and power. Eventually, uh, they'll look into water supply too. Because Oka don't have, uh, most of the areas of Oka, if you sink Boho, no matter the deep, you can't get water. You should look into issue of water in some areas of Anambras, like uh, Aguata areas, where you cannot get water no matter the depth. Mm -hmm. uh, Oka and the rest of them. Once he addresses this issue of uh, Amenities. We're good Basic to go. one. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. And umbrellas are hard working people. Okay. Talking about construction, Tony, uh, some people were like uh, Jacobs mentioned about the new construction that's coming up from that uh, step gate. Uh, some people were asking, I mean, we are saying, uh, we are of the opinion that, uh, that we need a kind of uh, maybe a single uh, flyover from the Regina Junction to the beautiful road that we are constructed uh, uh, across. Uh, what's your own opinion? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, actually, um, see, uh, actually, the little I disagree with my uh, colleague here is after he has finished road. <laughs> you don't finish road before you go into power. Um, the only problem we look at is the issue of funding. That's why I want us. Yesterday, we were in a society program, we were discussing about debt, debt and, um, and uh, services to people. Incidentally, we saw that Amber State is among the Southeast, the low, uh, in fact, we are the bottom of the state that are indebted. In which case, that um, we, we, we have debt, say, I think it's about 70 something billion. Uh, but other states like um, Nimo, Enugu, and have about 200 and something billion. So we don't have, but the most important thing is that actually, government can borrow to do capital projects that will yield money to, for repayment. That is where our conclusion yesterday was that um, we encourage governments to borrow money 
But let those money you borrow be put into capital projects that will generate more money to pay back the loan, not to service personnel. So that's by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Then on the issue of the construction work, is a very wonderful project. The Unisic uni temporary site to Isu, which passed through is uh, Y Junction. We know that Y Junction is a very um, hot area with flood. Flood, all the flood that come from uh, Nodu, uh, Ono, along that uh, Regina Shelley Road, <coughs> empty through that very wide junction. So it really needs some uh, specialized work to be done. And I thank the governor for making use of uh, specialists, as expert road construction company. Uh, so and I think that's what is telling out in that wide junction. You need to do a very strong uh, drainage, underground drainage, that we uh, take the water, the flood out of that place. So it's a good work. Then con uh, connection of it. You know, if the road had been one single road before, you know, the if the road towards um, I and if the road towards uh, uni, uh, down if the unit, there is, it has been one single road. It's a uh, express that cut it into two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we I have written a lot some before even this government time the time of it will be the time of old you know, suggesting that uh, a bridge be constructed to join that road because that will relieve the traffic pressure in Aroma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, incidentally, all the governments evaded that. All the governments evaded that, except this particular government. And I want to say it's a wonderful work. Wonder and the, like my brother said, the quality of work that we are seeing on these roads with the governor on the front page, because it means he really knows what he comes to do. Okay, so um, it's a very good one. It's a very good one, and I encourage him to continue. Don't just wait, because there is no more time. We, uh, by next uh, ending of this year, uh, politics will be on. Okay, a new election of, um, uh, uh, in fact, new election, gubernatorial election for Anambra State will kick off. So I will expect that you will touch the issue of power is very very important. I want to, t I, I, as I'm coming here, I saw a kind of um, water outlet that I don't know it, 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 from this aroma area. Around this aroma area, there have been two points I saw public water power taps being connected out for people is a good one. And I would just like my brother say, there are somewhere in Oka here, especially down if it, down if there, that uh, you must get up to 900 feet before you get water. It's not that you won't get water there, but it needs serious because it's made up of shell, shell uh, deposits, and you can't get water easily there. So I, will, uh, I know that the gov those, uh, this government uh, water, I think, um, Ministry of Utility, uh, that is probably putting out this public water outlet for people to get water along the road. He's planning to take it down to if the area because there they only use this well, surface well. That is what we get there. Okay. So we need more projects like that. Power okay. supply, uh, inputs from government to make power supply. If we can, if they can veer into solar. Find a way to inject money into. Solar, maybe, maybe solar panel production, the rest are certain things you can bring foreign investors to invest in power. Alternate power supply, it mustn't be this grid supply. Let's go to alternate power supply that will give people cleaner, more environmental friendly power, which is solar. It's a very nice one if our government could go into that. So that it, the cost of installing, of putting solar will, will reduce. So okay. that a uh, common man will be able to get solar in his house and get power. And okay. do business, and that will encourage. Okay, let me hold you there because it does appear we have stepped into your <laughs> your area as an engineer. So <laughs> that's why. If I don't stop you now, I'm sure we are not going to stop. Okay, let's. Um, for want of time, we'll just have to jump into the papers and look at um, the headlines there. Uh, Daily Times is our first paper this morning, and the banner headline there says Senate reps to confer with Tunubu as killings escalating Benue, Castina, and others. Incidentally, that's all we're going to take from that place because um, we don't have enough time in our hands. Okay, Vanguard newspaper. Uh, Thierry Sanusi, I thought I would die before we were uh, too emotional. I thought I would die before we were. Of course, he's a very young man. And then uh, when, I was, when he was saying that, he said that uh, now that we were is dead, that he doesn't know what to do with uh, what he left behind. But if he had been him that died, then we would have taken care of uh, uh, his family and all that. Okay. 
bloodbath in Benue. 50 killed as militia, gang, ga, militia gangs go to war. That's coming from Venged newspaper, and that's all we're taking from Venged. Let's uh, run to uh, the punch and see what's trending there. Uh, 24 states can't pay salaries without federal government allocation. Uh, budgets is saying that's budget office is saying this. 24 states can't pay salaries without federal government allocation. Let's look at the riders. 24 states to pay 1.48 trillion naira salaries in 2024, but generate 914 billion naira IGR. Governors advise to boost IGR. And then on do Yobe, South Koto, play to Niger, uh, Nasarawa, Adamawa, Cross Rivers, Delta, Abia, others affected. Are we not affected? Don't go and chop our money, say we can do without our location. We don't have money here, Rick. Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, go to Delhi Independent. Delhi Independent newspaper this morning. Um, hmm, a whole lot of problems here insecurity everywhere. Rising insecurity. Security architecture has failed despite enough appropriations. Wow, this is a big one. Plans, plans meeting um, President Tunubu. Okay, that assertion is coming from the Senate. Security, uh, rising insecurity. Security architecture has failed despite enough appropriations. Senate is saying this, that they have plans to meet uh, President Tunubu when I saw where you were appropriating and making uh, orders for oil and gas investment, and I don't see any executive order that has been signed for security. So what do you expect? 45 feared dead in Hesman militia attack on Benue community, 30 injured, scores missing and displaced. Uh, Tinubu signs executive orders to boost investments in oil and gas. That, that's the story I was looking for, compared with what's going on in our... Uh, and uh, what do you call it? It's security. I don't know what they do with all this money they get from oil and gas when the nation has collapsed security-wise. Air traffic controllers kick against proliferation of aviation agencies and departments, lament inappropriate recruitment in NEMA. Okay, alleged 7.6 billion naira fraud. Appeal court strikes out federal government plea to retry ex-governor Oji. Carlo. And down here, additional next case for Nigeria's restructuring welfare policies. We say right there, it says states have potential to become financially autonomous. I think I like this story. Okay, let's look at the nation newspaper. Nation newspaper this morning. What do we have coming from there? Outages. Minister threatens this cause with license revocation. Are they going to do that? Okay, well, for non-performance won't be tolerated. This is coming from distribution companies. TCN uh, summoned. Okay, any other story coming from here? None of interest. Okay, then now the Guardian newspaper, we'll have to roll all the papers because we don't have time and then we'll start talking, please. Okay, Guardian newspaper, a dead. Unaccountable security votes may may. Hobo state police plan. Why? Now, don't they plan another thing? I'm trying to. Okay. Policy somersault. All right. Daily Trust is our next paper this morning. Daily paper. Daily Trust, please. Uh, UN confirms over 200 women ID camps abducted in Burunu. Families ask federal government's National Assembly to rescue loved ones. Terrorists burn IDP houses at Dehua. What is the government doing about security? Hardship, refs seek 100,000 okay, 100, minimum wage for workers. We are talking 1 million, we are talking 100. How much are you guys taking when you're not doing anything? Jigawa Assembly impeaches two principal officers, suspends for local government shares. And Buhari's eight years of printing money without productivity caused inflation. It do. Print, production, printing money is a process of production. So, so they're producing money for over 40 killed as militia groups clash in Benue. I wonder what we're going to do with this Benue crisis. Like they just left them to finish them. 
or what is that least going on there. Nigerian Tribune, our last paper this morning, Africa turns out for additional World uh, War Leadership Prize. Okay, so many, so many of the stories coming from here, but that's all we're going to take. Uh, now, gentlemen, let's start talking, please. Let's start talking, starting from where we started, Senate refs to confer with uh, Tinubu as killings escalate in Benue. Then all the papers were going to join you to all the stories that are coming from the Benue stories, or the papers that has, have, um, some said 50, some said more, and a whole lot. Jacobs, let me start with you. Well, what are we going to do in our security? Well, uh, the, this issue of security is very, very important and paramount. Any nation that cannot secure East territory and citizens and properties of the citizens have failed in their primary responsibility. Many, many, many uh, people have referred to Nigeria as a first state. And the Senate, from what they have, their assertion over this issue, security architecture has failed. It's pointing to that direction. When security of a nation failed, that nation is a first state. And it can be invaded by anybody. When the security have failed, anybody can invade the country and overrun it. So the, the leadership of this country should sit up and do the natural in the area of security. Look at Benue. They have made this ground because of land grabbing. There's no issue over Benue. It's land uh, grabbing by Hessmen. They should look into such problem and address it properly. People should allow to have access to the indigenous places. The problem of uh, hunger in this, uh, especially this, this time around, is caused by insecurity. Farmers could not access their farmlands. Mm -hmm. And when they, could not, when they could not access, they could not farm. And they, through the harvest season, nothing was harvested. So we, the government should sit up. If they, if this, if they could not access, uh, address security, I think they should resign. Any person that could not address security of this nation should resign. Okay. All right. Tony, let's look at general uh, security situation in Nigeria. Well, um, I think it's far back at uh, 2014, or before even that, that this issue of um, the failures of Nigerian nation was first mooted and the people started attacking. I think it was when Boko Haram started their attack up north. Some people came out and said Nigeria is a failed state. The, the, the people were attacked uh, verbally. Why should they say Nigeria is a failed state? But uh, you know, uh, to fail is not something that is an instant, instant, is instantaneous. It's a gradual process. It has come to a point now when everybody has seen it. Maybe those people that saw it then, we are seeing beyond the physical. They saw the truth. Nigeria is a failed state. Nigeria is a failed state and has continued to fail. Now, the Senate has reco uh, uh, reco uh, recognized that. Other government institutions will also come up very soon to declare that Nigeria is a failed state. Because outside the uh, security architecture, the food security has collapsed. Social security has also collapsed. You can move around smooth easily in any part of this country. Okay? You cannot go to your farm. In fact, totally, there is no security in Nigeria. So, generally, Nigeria is a first. It's just that uh, sometimes we continue to imagine what is still holding Nigeria. What is really, really still holding Nigeria? If not, the, the, what we can call corruption. Because to look at uh, architectural security architecture, it is not a, a, a rocket science affair. There are people that are supposed to be security experts in this country that should sit down and look at, okay, look at now what I have here is that UN confirmed over 200 women IDPs mm -hmm. abducted in Benue State, in Boron State. Mm. Does it mean that in those IDPs, there are no security that are there, that what? 200 women will be abducted? Who ad now? abducted them? Okay, adopted by ga gangs. So you can just gang into Nigeria and gang, and gang out gang whatever that is No, the gangs there. are already in Nigeria. Have you forgotten that last government declared Nigeria a, 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 a visa on arrival nation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is, visa on arrival is that before, no one question you as you are coming in. 
before the second uh, Yes, uh, it is when you have visa. come into Nigeria, then you can now seek for visa. Mm -hmm. Okay? So when you've declared a nation like Nigeria, with all our very wide boundary, uh, 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 visa on arrival, so, so you, you are now inviting all Tom, Dick and Harry, all crooks from all over the world to step into Nigeria. Because nobody will be questioning them. And that was how this thing came about. So the implication is that our Nigerian government systematically made Nigeria a failed state. Mm -hmm. Okay? I cannot go to my farm now. If I go there, I will be going there with some apprehension of fear. A lot of people have run out of their, their farmland because of... In fact, people are paying dues, taxes, levy to these gangs in order to be able to go to farm. And then we are talking about hunger. We are talking about hardship. Who is really fooling who? Okay? The government that says this, because the basic principle, the basic duty of government is outside the shelter, security, food. The rest welfare can come in. But these things are the basic things you offer people that you are governing. Where are those, those things in Nigeria? So, I think if it's a decent society, somebody must have thrown in the towel. Somebody must have resigned. In Nigeria, you don't see such. Killings everywhere, 40 killed, over 40 killed, as militia groups clash in Benue State. Mm. Okay? 200 uh, women uh, in IDP abducted. If you go through our media, you see news. These are reported ones. These are there are ones, ones. You know, they don't even know that they are happening in so many areas or they happened. I was asking question the other day, who is really keeping record? Who is really counting? Of number of people that are dying in Nigeria every day. On we are no longer on, interested. On daily basis. 20 will be killed. People will just, just move just around. 20. Somebody will say just 20. Mm. That's what we have Even 50 has become just. Just. Mm. Human beings. Just 20. So 50. the number we are losing every day, we don't know whether we bring them, we, 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 uh, uh, we, they are born, that is replacement are born, because our population might have actually been that lower than we think. Because the deaths, the deaths are be, that are reported every day, mm -hmm. and those unreported we'll are taking toll on the population it. of this. And these are people that will contribute to the national growth, to national development. So we, uh, Nigeria has become a killing field. It's horrible. Where people die with it, somebody can be slaughtered so on what the street. Do you, what, what do you suggest we do? Like, uh, like I pointed out where uh, the, uh, the president signed executive <laughs> orders for oil and gas uh, exploration or whatever. So can there be any kind of declaration of a state of, uh, state of emergency on security or giving an executive order on what to do on security or whatever? The, the, what exactly? Why are they playing yes, with their lives? You, you, you have come around it. What has to be done? There must be what you can call state of emergency on security. In that state of emergency, the entire security apparatus should be dismantled and reestablished. There should be security consultants, even if it means to bring in outsiders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? Experts mm -hmm. from experts from abroad to come and look into Nigeria. Then we look at the structure of this country. Somebody mentioned something about um, uh, uh, restructuring. I, I think somebody, yes, uh, there yes. is somewhere somebody said mm. talk something about restructuring here. Mm -hmm. Nigeria needs to be restructured along regional. Let people take care of their security in their region with their own impossible, their local st strategies. Okay? Mm -hmm. Believing that Nigeria is a, a, a indissolvable, is a, fair, is a fallacy, is a lie, a blatant lie. Nigeria was put together by human beings. How can what human being put together? You say it is indissoluble. Why not even ask you to dissolve? No, you can if you yes. come. To, excuse me, we are looking at human beings. We are not looking at the entity. The entity is, is our intention to this preserve the entity that has been causing human death. The, the purpose of forming a nation is to make life meaningful for human beings. Okay? It is a nation for human beings, not human beings for nation. Mm -hmm. So if it is, if it has become a solution, that's why I am still against people who say we should not discuss, we should not dialogue. Let's go to the dialogue table and find out what can solve this. If it comes to that, let's look at it because no human being can save. Okay. You don't just save an entity when people that are living there are being killed in thousands every day. And you said you, we cannot do this. There should be no go area in Nigerian political structure system. Everywhere should be addressed. So that we will, we will in fact, we are committing murder every day collectively. We, those that are supporting by, the institution by, that kills yes, are by murderers. Yes, doing by, what we're supposed to do. Yes, yes, we are committing murder every I, day. I know. Okay. Then this issue of states. 
to first uh, can not pay salary. Yes, we are coming to that. Imagine a situation where that is two thirds. You, you talk about out of states. Two thirds states. We are talking about twenty-four. Cannot pay salary without allocation. Mm -hmm. mm. But the standard of state creation is, is one one of the most important things. Viability, viability, economic uh, viability. viability. Ability to fend for itself. Which means that most of these states they created are mushroom states. They're not supposed to be there. They're not supposed to be there. That is the area of resources we should look into. Any state that could not fend for itself, manage its own affair without support. To, that is why we should allow people to control whatever they have and pay some percentage to the center. To know those that are really economically viable and those that are not they should merge. If so the, that this country will move forward. If we should stop not, using uh, Robin Peter to pay Paul. If this but, is not what they're using to but you remember, increase, increase allocation to some But states. do you remember that when Lord Lugard was offering to bring the North and South and protectorate together, it was the basic principle of merging North and South so that the resources from the South will be used to run the government in the North. Which is very wrong. But who opposed that? Those that are actually midwife Nigeria, did they oppose that? You were told verbally that we want to take resources from the South to, to, to mm. run the North. It's never and you done. agreed. It's, it's never it's, done anyway. It has never been done. And it's anywhere it's done. done, it has led to problems. It you was something like that was in Yugoslavia. They need to fight to, to dismember Yugoslavia. You because should, you, should, yes. you should not rob Peter to pay Paul. Okay, and this is what he's telling out today. Nobody will allow, they will not allow their state to be because most states are politically this, created. This need to they, were not, they were not created for economic viability, viability and reasons. They were created to make sure that some people, by number, are to number those in the South. Mm. In the National Assembly, these states uh, take uh, accounts, account. the number of House of Rep are and from the state. The, the number of local government are also from the So when you say they match, then, <laughs> my brother, that is actually where the restructuring will come. Okay. Because somebody will tell you. Okay, you gentlemen, because for want of time, let's look at uh, this uh, uh, power supply issue uh, before we go, just briefly, because uh, we have, um, um, you know, power run out outages. of time. Mm. Yes, power supply. Uh, Flagman threatening, uh, threatening to dissolve uh, this case because of power, uh, outages. Power, power outages. Minister threatens uh, this case with license revocation. Are they really serious about this? Because I know that there are three stages of this thing. You generate, you distribute, and then before you now start, uh, I mean, uh, supplying to people. So is it not what you generate and give me that I distribute? Good, because generation is, is, in, is in the hands of the government. Of the it's government. The key now. NEPA is still generating. Mm -hmm. These schools are distributing. But if, uh, if uh, like you said, it is what you generate that I distribute. Mm. So these schools are distributing distribution companies, not generating companies. You see, that was why when I started earlier, I said, Nigeria should look into alternate power supply sources. There are so many ways. We, we have a vast land. We have area we can install uh, uh, mills, windmills that can generate electricity. Where they, they are especially, especially in the north. In the north. There are areas we can install solar. We can, government can go into uh, support for solar uh, production. Panels are too costly. Batteries are too costly. Uh, controllers, they are all foreign production. Why can't we produce some of these things locally? Mm -hmm. Okay? And when you produce them locally, you will not buy them in a, in a very cheap price. And the cost will be low. People will be able to go into solar and the, the pool, the pool on the national supply will reduce. Because if I become power, uh, electric power independent, Okay? Mm -hmm. And many people become independent. Unless, because they, many of them have invested in power and they are making their money. That's why they don't want to go into alternate power, to help people to put, put alternate power in their houses. Because that is what is happening. They have all invested in this disco. Many of them have, come, have, their, have their shares there. So mm -hmm. anytime you talk about moving away from, from the, uh, the, the main supply, they will, they will torpedo it. What happened in Aba recently was an example. That project started uh, when Professor Barton was, uh, um, was power minister. power minister. Some people torpedoed that project until, until the present governor uh, inputed, input some money there. They sabotaged that. So there are a lot of sabotage in Nigerian system. So people are also sabotaging solar. 
let's get this solar in place. I agree with uh, a lot of people that are saying solar is the way. It is environmental friendly. It is costly now, but in long time, it is better. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, it's not an issue of threatening disco. It is not disco problem, if I will say. Because disco distributes what you supply them. If the power generation drop, it will affect the supply. So, let's find a way to use other means to solve power problem. That's my own candid opinion. Okay. Thank you very much. And um, while we still have a, a little time to play with, um, let's also look at this uh, restructuring that we talked about, additional next case for Nigeria's restructuring. Um, Jacob, you are a lawyer. What, okay, restructuring and welfare policies. Uh, it, it, like I said earlier, the restructuring that w like we have seen uh, in so many definitions does not necessarily mean you know, tearing Nigeria apart, no. but letting regions take care of themselves and then maybe paste us to even, the center. Even in this state setting now, they can restructure and allow each state to control their resources okay. and contribute to center. Allow states to take care of their security, internal security, and allow the state to manage their own power. They should allow them to come in in issue of power, to invest in power, not to... Okay, that, that, that means that the restructuring is, uh, is uh, gradually creeping in because uh, now there is uh, state can generate power for themselves. And then mm. they got, we are talking yeah, about they, they, state they, police and a whole lot, yes, of, they, a whole lot of them. So maybe it's they, a gradual it's a thing. Gradual thing but they should speed it up. And the issue of economic viability of the state should be looked into. Any state that cannot pay salary of their workers should ask to match with other states. Mm. Let me, that's, that's the only way to go. I because know. you cannot continue to borrow to pay Can you borrow to pay salary? It's, on, it's, on, it's, on, it's something on hand of. Okay, so we see. should restructure this country in a way that instead we move at its own pace. You should not allow others to draw others back. Mm -hmm. Like if you allow issue of uh, power to be controlled by state, issue of rail, the state can now develop their own rail system. And the issue of air, they should allow the state to come in and some, give them some freedom. To manage their airports. Do you get the point that make local airports, they don't issue international travel, they can control that one. But the issue of local travel, they should give states some powers to manage their air airports. By the, allow, by the time you allow states to come in in some vital areas of economy of the country, you will, you will know those that are viable and those that are not uh, viable. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, you encourage healthy competition. Okay. The governors will sit up. They will not be hoping to run to Abuja to get a location. Many mm -hmm. of them are, are there as governors just to go and get a location and start a way substantial sum of the allocation into their private account, which is wrong. Okay. Now, talking about private accounts, and uh, Tony, mm -hmm. uh, I, I've been looking for the story where they talked about uh, uh, security votes being, uh, okay, uh, debts, unaccountable security votes may uh, hobble states Police. police plan. <laughs> the story is in the Guardian newspaper. So how is this, is this um, a kind of um, huddle that trying to put to, uh, uh, maybe somebody will say something, I say, ah, I made a mistake. Let me see what I can do to make sure that this doesn't stand. Or you what see, do you think? You see, uh, um, there are two issues there. Mm. Unaccountable security votes. One, security votes should be accountable. Of course. The, the volume of money that some governors go away with in the name of security votes that they are not accounting to anybody is too much. Okay? Mm -hmm. What they are trying to say by linking it to state police is that if governors who go away with security votes that they don't even account, that is, because it is this security vote that's supposed to, use, to be used to handle um, state, state, state police. Yes. If you have secret state police, you pay them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Equip, it's no longer equip, federal government will pay them. them. Now, you equip them. Now, when you have billions and billions of Naira going into the governor's account without accountability, you see that the state police was already to pay before it starts. Because, oh, eventually, I call game. As far as uh, the money is concerned. 
So the security votes should be accountable. They should tell us how they spend it. So that when you now say the state police is now in place, it will be able to be, you will also give account of how much, how many, how much have you spent on infrastructure? That is um, equipment. How much have you spent on personnel, payment of the state police personnel? So when you don't have such a, when the, 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 the system is allowing a governor to go away with the security, state, uh, security vote without giving account of it, how can, he, how can we now run that state, state police? So that is the, where the problem is. On this issue of uh, uh, say social is graduating, let me tell you, and I told, I've said it before, no, none of the states in the north, none of the, in fact, the political, three quarter of Nigerian politicians, which invariably come from the north, we never agree to this issue of um, allowing regions to control this, control that, with the state to control this. Control because what because what? that is the reason, it is against the reason why Nigeria was created. The reason Nigeria was created was some people's money should be used to run other states. So if you now come here to tell Kano State to start becoming economically independent, generate money and pay yourself, Yobe State, generate money and pay, and then the federal government, then in fact, pay tax, because that is what it means in, a, in, in what we are calling restructuring. Mm. The state will now generate money in its, in, on its own, then pay tax to federal government, and then federal government will use the, that tax to handle some few ministries because it means that all these ministries that the federal government is running will be removed from them most of them have nothing to do with the federal uh, system it will go down to state like i don't see, i don't see what the federal government is doing with ministry of agriculture mm -hmm. okay yeah. so education. education some of these things will be taken away from federal government and given down to the state so you now generate money and handle your education handle your agriculture handle every other thing apart from international relation and some of the international related security, uh, matter, security, uh, federal uh, states, uh, federal uh, security uh, that involve every, but the main thing is that security, internal security will be handled by the state. Before now, in the first republic, there are regional police, mm -hmm. okay? There are regional police, there are regional house, uh, uh, house of uh, uh, parliament. They have even regional uh, international offices, representative, we have regional uh, parliamentarians. So, they will not allow that to happen. Why? Because it negates the principle of Nigerian creation. That was why the since they who they, will not allow what to happen. The people and, that are benefiting from where they did not sow. And the people that are, that are reaping what they sow. Will they keep quiet? Why but others we, benefit we, from we what they We have been cornered to a point where we have been given little voice. The little voice there is in the National Assembly. We are very few there compared to what they have. But now okay. that it's so obvious that that system is not working, <laughs> that continue to do one thing uh, and continue to repeat it over and And that is why Nigeria I is going to a failed result. state. Okay. Won't you change it? That is why Nigeria has been failing. Okay, because of not being able to change what has not been working. Talking about failing, there's this story I just saw from uh, the Daily Times. It said, APC leader to Tinubu, we are failing. Good. So... For the party to come out to and, tell, uh, and tell uh, their, their boss that they are failing, uh, does it, is it, what does that signify? It signifies that the truth, the reality is becoming clearer. To and every lack, of, lack of hope. Everybody is Lack of it. trust. Is it, is, is it because of what's trending, um, uh, poverty in the land, Good. people now, crying, see, and the whole the lot of things? Yes. So it's not getting to Let there. me link it to that, because right now, people in the north and in some major part of Nigeria are, 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 are protesting. Hunger. Hardship has started touching them. Mm -hmm. Okay? They now know that something is wrong. Because the hardship has gone so deep that... Their, their children are on the street now, even struggling over a plate of food. Somebody abandoned them in the restaurant. So it is now clearer to them. That's why somebody is saying, why is Igbos are, why Igbos are not? And those that are testing the hunger now will, will not be... Will they are not the tested hunger. before. They have not tested it. They are not testing it. But mm. Igbos have been hungry for, the, for over the years. What have we not complained about since the end of the war? You so say the uh, uh, 3R. Okay, which of done. those three are was done? 
reconstruction, rehabilitation, release, and that, which of them we continue to suffer from 1970 to date. No, are you saying that this thing will get to a point that even the Igbos will join the protest? Well, there will be never so a time. What that I'm happen. saying, uh, he, he that is down fears no fall. It was a down. Let me, let me ask you a question. Past, we don't ask me a question. I during ask the war, questions. During the war. I ask questions. You give you answers. Ask, okay. I let me answer. Ask we questions. don't fear for a During again. the war, we made soup with hibiscus flour. We made soup with uh, cassava leaf. We ate even snail. Ate, uh, sorry, snail is even, we ate rat. We ate lizard. Have we reached that level now? But we survived under them. Let's okay. The cassava leaf is acidic. So why didn't you die? Cassava leaf. Mm. Eh. Well, it's not acidic. You can even cassava leaf now is medicinal if you cook it and I've been cooking eh. it. You just boil it and drink the water is that. But you know what it means. It's not our part of delicacy. Oh. But during the war, we made it part of our delicacy. We even begged to survive the war. We have not reached that level now. So we look when the Igbo gave you come boil at that level, mm. Mm. You can have a You watch your children die of hunger. They, our children will be looking at by special you, no, I'm of talking God of what and the, our what we read from the wars. Some yeah. people out of hunger when there's a need for them to run away, they abandon their children that yeah, are very course. weak. And and there's a Pashoko period. You know, Pashoko so children. I know don't that. Oh gosh. Let's okay. go. So, so we've been suffering. But, uh, from my account of what happened during the war, we will read it and it over. you discovered the Igbos had developed thick skin over suffering. Well, mm. they, are, they are suffered. And from our parents who experience all these things, Allah uh, uh, pass the history down and uh, trained us through that. You can see any, any average Igbo man struggles to make it. We we'll find a way to live. Mm -hmm. okay. We we'll struggle to make because that mm -hmm. happened, the training we got. What we are going there. into now is even cultivating in your house. Even when you have a concrete wall, you use uh, this uh, cement bag Bags. to put sand there and put vegetables, put yam. You can even, even yam. plant yam even inside this room. Even cassava. Even cassava. So it will get to a point when people will just start farming. We just, go just, just, just the just flani has been will no longer allow us to go to our farm. We farm in our home to survive. <laughs> <laughs> we, we use cement <laughs> bags. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we are used to struggling. Thank you. Thank you, know, you we must devise and be innovative. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. Thank you. That's the way you are made. Very resilient. Very unbreakable Very set unbreakable. of human, human beings. Mm -hmm. I am happy who you are. Thank you, Tony Anebwe, Engineer Tony Anebwe, for coming today. Thank you, IJ, everybody, your viewers. Thank you very much for viewing us. Oh, yes. And thank you, Barrister Ife Chuku Dan Jacobs, for joining us today. Thank you, the presenter, viewers. Thank you for giving us your It's time. been a very interesting one this Thursday, I must tell you. And um, I hope it continues because uh, Good Morning Anambra continues tomorrow. Thank you. My name is Sijama. See you. Transform a frown into a smile. Make a lunch hour a happy hour. Change no thanks into yes please. Provide care when her nearest and dearest needs it most. And resolve family feuds without blowing a whistle. Providing tasty, nourishing family meals is all that matters. The world needs moms because where there are moms, there is hope, happiness, and love. Golden Terra Oil for pure love. My champs, they use energy at school. Your champs need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved Miller at breakfast. 
It has nutrients that support energy release. Cube or Rap Joy or Leash Taste.